Wow. Hello. No way. Thank you. I will. Nice glass of blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd much rather have Joseph Hill haunt me as opposed to Usha. I don't feel very well though, do I? I'm watching you, newcomer. Not for much longer. I'm gonna resolve everything once and for all. Raymond's room. Now Johannes is gone. Another scientist dead. Oakmont has lost another great mine. Prominent local scientist and archaeologist Joseph Hill was found dead in his study in Reed Heights overnight. Who would dare to take the life of this renowned researcher? And more importantly, why? While those questions remain unanswered, it seems like Oakmont University's finest are haunted by some kind of unenviable doom. Joseph Hill was not the first to leave us grieving his absence, nor, it seems, will he be the last. And yet, he is not entirely gone. He will live on in the hearts of those who knew and loved him, and his science is sure to inspire a new generation of ambitious students. Who won't know about all the bad things he's done? Torturing people? The prophecy with my notes. Since the dark aeons before the age of man, Katiganar lies beneath the ground. In the Eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. But there are those who would free the daughter, if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Katiganar, driven by hideous visions. The seal of Katiganar will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. Is this my fate? Will the one who succeeds be me? Oh, this reminds me. Do you remember that? Oh, the prophecy that we got in the very first case? We should totally look at that again, but I don't know where it is. Maybe under lore? Mythos? Fortune Teller's Prophecy The sea will be generous in the coming days, Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I see old and new, a hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and, tall pillars, circled by the dead, a race from one to the next as time itself laughs. A race? And pillars? Okay. I am the seed. The seed might not die. I might survive. The prophecy doesn't say that I'll die if I enter Katiganar. There is a chance I may survive. Oh, this is the translation. The source of the spreading madness is the dreamer's hidden daughter, locked in Katiganar, an eldritch prison beneath Oakmont. Only the seed can enter Katiganar and may open it or close it for one more cycle. The entrance to Katiganar is the monolith in Central Advent. To open it, I must complete the seal by finding three stone cave fingers growing on three monoliths around the city. The first is on the central monolith. To find the other two, I'll need to seek out the fire worshippers. Okay. Did we ever get new outfits, by the way? No, that was pretty much it. Yeah. All these other ones are for... DLC and other stuff. Okay. The central monolith in Advent. I don't suppose you would give me an address for that because it's pretty obvious. We should be able to see it. 
the niche in the monolith in Central Advent. So somewhere here. Oh, it's gotta be where this dark spot is, right? Um... We'll probably see it once we fast travel to Advent. Hey, hotel owner. I'm watching you, newcomer. Thanks for letting me stay this whole time. I might not come back ever again. I don't know if Johannes was paying my bill, but... Thanks for letting me put my stuff here. Okay. Oh yeah, it's pretty obvious. Do I have to walk up here then? Maybe that would be a good idea. What in the world is this? Is there a plaque somewhere? Tortured man. I can smell the gasoline even from here. Why would anyone need so much? The fire worshippers are right here. Oh. Yeah. Cleanse yourselves. The time has come, brothers and sisters. We must cleanse ourselves before we face the new world. We shall leave behind all our sorrows and passions and meet our new lives pure. Join the cleansing at St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush. Oh dear. Huh. The lid's not closed tightly, and there's still some gas in the can. It seems like it was opened recently. I think you can kind of tell by the burning fire over here. Bullets? Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. Oh, that's like their god or something. Oh, but look! All these charred bodies. Ooh. Guessing it's not a good idea for me to step on this? Uh, no, I'm just kind of losing sanity is all. Because no sane person would willingly look at that for so long. We'll try upstairs first. Hey. You scared me. Who are you? Are you late for the cleansing too? Every single woman we come across has the same pose with her arm. <laughs> Yeah, my name's Charles Reed, and you are? Meryl, but just call me sister. We're all family after all, right? Uh, yeah, sure. What happened here? The cleansing. This cycle has come to its end, and the next is about to begin. So we must purify ourselves in the fire. Wait, you mean they did it to themselves? With joy, brother. Joy. We have waited long for this moment, but soon the cycle will begin anew, and we will be reborn in the new world. Cleansed. You can leave all this behind, brother. A fresh start. Join us. But... Uh, how do you know? What if it's just suicide? If the cycle doesn't restart, then we are truly blessed. For we'll avoid the great calamity. Angel showed us those horrors in our dreams. If we are not reborn in the new cycle, then the seed has succeeded, and the daughter is free, and that is no world worth living in. A lot of these churches and religions have a lot of details and information on the cycle ending already. It's more that people like me, who don't really fall into a religion, who don't know too much about it. Have you seen a place on this monolith with a piece of stone growing from it? I couldn't see anything on the outside. 
Hoan know what you speak of. It's at the bottom of the basement. Thank you. Do you mind if I take it? You're a fire worshipper, yeah? Do you know which of the monoliths opens the way beneath the city? Why do you ask? Did say this one. It's where I need to go. I am the seed. <gasps> it's you. Okay, Blas. Father Nicholas knew you'd come to us. We were watching our dreams for you. What are you talking about? High angels would whisper to us in our sleep. We had to listen to them, remember them, write down their messages, all so you could find what you seek. Good. Okay. Does that mean you know which monoliths are needed to open the way? Me? No. No, I dreamed just a fraction of what was needed. But Father Nicholas put it all together. His notes are hidden downstairs, so that only you may find them. Take the key to the lower rooms. I think Father Nicholas left it on the altar. Is Father Nicholas dead? He can't meet me himself? Are you planning to... immolate yourself? It is the cleansing, yes. Mm. Uh, that seems like an awful way to die. Please, are you sure? I... I am not scared of pain. Purity will be my passage to the new cycle. I'm scared if I tell her I don't want her to do this, she's gonna be like, you're not really the seed, and start attacking me. You might want to think about it. You'll scream and scream in pain as the fire burns your flesh. It would be a slow and awful way to die. I... well... yes. Oh, maybe I should reconsider. Oh. Hmm, it kinda worked. May your path be clear, brother. Well, I mean, if we're all gonna die anyway, you don't have to burn yourself beforehand. Shopping list, gasoline, kindling, matches. Try to get everything to the church before dawn. They are really into this. The fire angels. Yeah, it's that figure, the chained figure. The Book of Holy Flame. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, among the tongues of flame and fiery pits. Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. The sinners, contrarywise, shalt go to hell, the hime of devils sunken below, with its cold streets of silver cobblestones, where they'll rest in eternal suffering until the end of time. I wonder how they feel about that. The city sinking, them being fire worshippers and all. It does seem to kind of go against their whole thing here. Father Nicholas's notes. Hopefully no wild beasts. Warning note. Brothers and sisters, please be careful. The end of the cycle is nigh, and wild beasts have begun to inadvertently emerge in some of our premises. If you are visiting the Zetetic Room, please exercise extreme caution, and be sure to bear arms. Well, so much for that. Ooh, I gotta freaking reload. The fight with Usha took a lot out of me. Just in case. Can I craft any more? Not too much more. If it's wild beasts, I can handle it. Okay. I didn't even have any first aid kits, my goodness. Lucid dreaming, dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. Let me guess. Fake wall? Oh, behind me too. 
Okay. Hold on. Ooh. You can't spawn behind me. That's cheating. That's against the rules. We all good? There is a foot here. Oh dear. Boots? Sleeping draft. A strong one. A lot of them again. Well, that's gotta be the piece of stone. Wow, they built their church around the monolith. Priest's records. At last, the dreams of my brothers and sisters have started to become clear. The cycle has come to its end. Time to perform the cleansing so our souls can retain their memory, their purpose. I put together all the signs from our dreams and hid them so only the seed can find them. They'll help him find what he seeks. Hey, could have been a woman, man. Could have been Professor Harriet here. Seed, if you are reading this, I hope you'll restart the cycle so that we may meet in the next one. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe these notes have been passed on around the church for a long, long time already. Dream Diary The human blood is to find treasures of the ones who are not human anymore. The first stone will drop the shadow on his dwelling. Three lives take their start among the iron horses in the shadow of the second stone. The waters will wash away the first blood they spill. Whoa. Is this really stone? This must be part of the seal. One out of three. But do I have any hints for where the other ones are? Are there crows here? Um... Ah... Oh! Ooh! Mental health getting a little dodgy there, huh? Looks like this was left for me. Father Nicholas's instruction. The first monolith, by its mere presence, shall transform a man from ordinary to renowned. Once the water rises, he will divine inhuman treasures never before seen, drawing crowds and acclaim to his humble abode. Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and share his face on paper. Seek the monolith, for it hides what the seed desires under the azure cloak. The second monolith, portentous and proud, shall be delivered unto Oakmont with disciples three, each identical to the last. They shall enter this world at an uncertain hour, as the first young citizens of Oakmont, after the water rises. Seek the monolith, for it holds that which the seed desires. Oh, quite cryptic. Do we really already have enough? First part of instructions. Once the water rises, he will divine inhuman treasures, drawing crowds. It seems like I have to use this to find something. Maybe the newspaper, since many praise him and transcribe his words. The second one shall enter the world at an uncertain hour. This one also has the same icon. Okay. Maybe we can ask the lady about it, or- oh. Lucid dreaming, oh. dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. She's gone. She didn't burn herself already, did she? I really hope not.
If I go outside... Are people gonna praise me? Oh my goodness. The fire worshippers. Okay, here we go. We're at the right place here. We got the icon. Period. Would this be really ancient? Once the water rises, after the flood, people. People? I feel like we have to do this one because we're not going to have a district, right? So people... Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and share his face on paper. Celebrities? Section... Articles and interviews? Boom. Incredible discoveries. A small strand line at the eastern end of Old Colony Street is now the talk of Oakmont. Jimmy Price, a fisherman living in the boondocks on the border of Coverside and Grimhaven Bay, has become famous overnight for his remarkable findings. Not a week passes without him emerging from the sea with another piece of gold, jewelry, or ancient treasure. Antiquities expert Diane Miles is baffled. These trinkets are unlike anything I've ever seen, said Mrs. Miles. The only thing I can tell you for certain is that it's pretty darn old. Ah, because this guy's around the monolith and it's transforming him from ordinary to renowned. A fisherman. Oh, but the other... Whoops. The other one isn't in the same place though, right? Yeah, so the second part here doesn't have that same icon. We have to go somewhere else for this? We'll think about this one later on. The fisherman's place is... Border between Coverside and Grimhaven Bay at the Strand Line on the eastern end of Old Colony Street. So like literally right around here? It's pretty dang far. There's people fishing right off the bridge. We're straddling the border between Grimhaven Bay and Coverside right now on Old Colony Street. It looks gloomier here than usual, doesn't it? Hmm? Yeah, we are in the right place. Oh, look at that. Monolith is right here. Yeah. Have people not questioned this? There's a gigantic rock here, but everyone's just like, Oh, okay, that's our life now. <laughs> the last message. I've lost count of how many nights the Archie has been trapped in this storm. We're going round in circles. Drock rocks don't let us leave the snub city or turn back to come ashore. No food left. My sister and her husband are clearly mad with hunger. They say we must jump into the sea and cross it by foot underwater. They jumped. They all just jumped into the water. My whole family with a sickly smile on their faces. Kay help me. I am taking the only diving suit and we'll try to reach the shore. Pray for me. Oh. This is the fisherman, right? So for some reason, his whole family was basically hypnotized, but he alone was kind of okay. Still wet. Someone undressed in a hurry. We did learn something new here, though, because initially, we thought people were just kind of sticking around the town for no reason. But now we know there's actual physical forces preventing us from leaving here. Or even coming back to shore, if you're already in the water. Wait, so the diving suit is right here, which means the fisherman made it. He must be around here somewhere. No sign of a seal fragment on this side of the monolith. This isn't gonna be easy. There's a lighthouse right there too. Hold on. How many lives were lost in these waters? These are all broken ships who try to come here, who try to leave here. So the fact that I came on a boat, but I'm okay, that might mean that somebody wanted me to come here too. No sign of the K-finger. There's no sign of the K-finger for my seal on the upper part of the monolith. 
Most of it is underwater. Maybe we have to dive. K-finger beneath the azure cloak. Azure cloak. Oh. Dive to complete the seal. Azure cloak as in the sea. The prophecy says that one monolith will hide what I seek under the azure cloak. Sounds like I need to hunt for part of the seal underwater. That fisherman from the article found the gold underwater. He should have somewhere to dive from. Maybe I'll find some clues in his house? Okay. Oakmont is trapped by Katiganar. He's preventing- he? It? It is preventing people from leaving. The cycle will repeat. Until... One day, the seed frees the hidden daughter. No. Oh... Restart the cycle and save mankind. If I restart the cycle, Oakmont will be destroyed, but mankind will be spared for another few centuries. <gasps> Restarting the cycle is useless. There is no sense in postponing the inevitable. One day, someone will end the cycle and mankind will be destroyed. Oh... Wait, so even under this optimistic interpretation here, we're saying that Oakmont will still be destroyed. Mm. For now, let's say this one. But I do have some interest in seeing all the endings, if there are multiple, so maybe we'll just end up doing all of them anyway. Right now, my stance is, I'm a human, so I want to side with the humans, even though these ancient gods are definitely really scary. Okay. The last message here. Dive. I gotta find his house. How do I find his house? Yeah, so this this fisherman here, because he lives near the monolith, that's how he's been getting all these riches and he's becoming famous. Just by virtue of being near it. Is it this house right here? This isn't really a house. <laughs> it's kind of a broken down place. Oops. Should I be holding a gun? Or won't budge. His house is broken down. It's nice and big, though. Letter from a relative. Jimmy, none of us is gonna leave our homes and join this Dane adventure of yours. We're perfectly fine here in Oakmont, and have no need to look for a better place. Moreover, calling your skip Archie is a druck of a Dane idea. Aunt Lavinia. <laughs> That's right, Archie. His ship. Newspaper article. Since the day Oakmont was stricken by the flood, fishermen have complained that their prey seems to have vacated all the coastal waters. I have no clue where the drock all the fisk went, said Mr. B. Morgan, a fisherman from Salvation Harbor. We returned empty-handed every single time, yet those toad-faced scum returned with nets loaded up with fisk. This is witchcraft of their underwater kin, I'm telling you. The port is ringing with dissatisfaction at the unprecedented advantage the inn's mothers have in the fishing trade. To what can this success be attributed? The Oakmont Chronicle will investigate. One thing's for sure, though. Something smells fisky. Wouldn't that kind of be like cannibalism, though? Inn's mothers catching fish? <laughs> no wonder all the locals hate them, though. They get all the fish. Them coming over here kind of makes everything worse for the locals. Did you see how there was a steel reinforced door downstairs just now? What was that? <coughs> Jimmy Price? There you are. Oh, he's got a diving spot in his home. <sighs> the door won't budge. Oh! Hi. Sorry, did I scare you? Yeah, you a local? Can I ask you about this shore? Live here for 30 years. I'm gonna die here. So, what do you want? I need to get to the base of that rock off the beach. And where's the best place to dive? So you're going to hell like everyone else. Figures. What do you mean? The crew, the Archie. My family? All of them drowned. 
something in the mail. It calls to them. It hypnotizes him. So you still want to go? Yup. <laughs> As if I've got any choice. Then may I ask you for a favor? Would you put these crosses on my relatives down there? I don't know how else to help their poor souls. If you agree, I'll show you where I used to dive. Before the snow. Why is this guy not affected? But his whole family was. You said something on the seabed caused your family to drown. How is that possible? Archie was our chance to escape. We tried to get away, but the mare stopped us. Rocks appeared from nowhere. A deep fog fell. We spent a week roaming near the shore, unable to escape. Our supplies drained, our minds it, weakened. Whispers, shadows moving in the fog. Madness. The... I put on a diving suit, but the others just jumped overboard, one by one. I was the last. The suit's the only reason I got to shore. Even if his family changed their mind, they wouldn't be able to get up without a diving suit. Now, won't it be difficult to identify your relatives? It's only been two days. Their bodies will not have spoiled. Uh, but there's the fish. The fish can board the rock, like anything alive. I'll help you. Now, give me the crosses and show me where to dive. Okay, bless you, mister. I have a dive spot on the first floor. Here's a key. He's already assuming all his family died, but they could be in an underwater temple. Silver linings? I didn't get your name. What do they call you? Jimmy Price. Why do you ask? Well, we already knew it. It's been a while since I've met an ordinary person. I just wanted to talk. And the name's Charles Reed, by the way. Well, nice to meet you, Charles. You ever think about what might be, Jimmy? Something you want more than anything. What? That's an... Uh, unexpected question. Let me think. I guess it's obvious. I want to hug my Rebecca one more time. Want to see a smile on her face. And you? I want... None of this to be real. To wake up in my bed in Boston, eat real food, drink good coffee, and forget it all. Sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's a real part of Charles that's just like, I don't want to be a part of this. Leave me out of it, please. So, Jimmy, what's next for you? I... I don't know. I've lost it all. My wife... Rebecca, my daughter, the mayor took everyone I knew. Now I wonder if the mayor is making me repay for my greed. Taking that gold from its depths. Curse the day I found that drock ring. Um, the law of equivalent exchange. There's a price to pay for every action, Jim. That's just life. Yeah, I'm a Dane. Such a damn Dane. Well, thank you for the talk, Charles. Thanks, Jimmy. I guess it's back to it. Take care, Charles. Bye. We've made it so far. Even if we don't want to be a part of this, we can't change the fact that we're the chosen one. So we gotta see it through. You might even call this... the sinking city fallacy. <laughs> uh... Was there anything else around here? Or maybe I should just go into the room. It didn't say all evidence found. Bye, Jimmy. <laughs> We're doomed to rot in this ball. Got that right. Do you even have a front door? You don't. Wow. Did you Do you go in and out the same way I do? That's a little bit surprising. Oh, look at all his fancy treasures from the deep. Fisherman's farewell note. Whether the gold I found was cursed or not, I have enough to start building a skip of my own, a ship. I'm calling her Archie. We're leaving this wretched city that even Kay has turned his back on. If anyone finds this, please pray for us. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of knowledge points, didn't we? One. Oh no, just one. Mmm, probably nothing for the traps. 
Battle rifle, submachine gun. Falling from heights? That doesn't really happen to me that often. <laughs> Man eating eels. Let's get... Additional 10% chance to save materials when crafting. Oh, I need this one first, or... Oh, if I want to get this one, I also need this one. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. And once again, we descend. This time is a little bit different though, because we're here to get the K finger from the seal. I don't know if that means we're gonna um, take the suit off or not. And we also have to put the crosses on Jimmy Price's family. Okay. Well, we gotta go down deeper and deeper. Slowly. I'll get a harpoon ready just in case. I think the flare is actually fairly useless. <laughs> the harpoon is the one that we really need here. Ooh, gotta be careful. My suit's already kind of dead. Well, maybe if I use a flare here, I can see further up ahead. I mean, not really, though. No, no, don't look at it. Don't look at it. The Archie. Oh, shoot. I hope you find a place where your soul can rest in peace. No underwater temples for these people. There's the Archie. That is... That is beautiful. Oh, oh, show! <gasps> Oh my god. Wasn't expecting that at all. Thank you, they put me right here. Ooh. How many family members does this guy have? Well, he's not here this time. Oh, it's already on. Dang, that was like a one-shot kill. Oh, there he is. There he is. Just out of curiosity, though. How many crosses do we have? Three. Three. Where is the last one? We should probably do it before we get to wherever we need to go to. Uh oh. Um. Oh, there he is. This is grotesque. Neither alive nor dead. Yeah, they're very clearly being bound here. It's almost a little bit soma like. They didn't just simply drown. Here we go. These diving segments, they're kind of cool, but they feel a little bit like a lost opportunity or a missed opportunity. Feels like they should be able to do more with it. But in the end, it's really just kind of walking around here. And what in the world is happening? What? What? What's that flashing? 
I found your family, Jimmy. Rest assured, I did what you asked. Thank you. Hopefully it will ease their troubled souls. I I'm sorry I asked you to risk your life on my behalf. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Thanks. I actually did die. Bye. <laughs> what the heck is that flashing? Two out of three. I've now found two parts of the seal. I've added the second cave finger, but there's still one left to find before I can open the path to Katiganar. What about my mind palace? Nothing yet? The cycle will repeat. Yeah, okay. Mmm, it's this one. The second part of the instructions. The second monolith, portentous and proud, shall be delivered unto Oakmont with disciples three. They shall enter this world at an uncertain hour, as the first young citizens of Oakmont after the water rises. As the first young citizens of Oakmont after the waters rise. Oh, I'm guessing maybe City Hall or the library? Something about the history of Oakmont, right? First of all though, what the heck is this flashing? It just happens inside, but not outside. What? Oh, I wonder if I'm going crazy or if that's a bug. Oh, no, no, no. What? Oh, wow. Mm, something is definitely wrong with the world. It kind of looks like the Northern Lights. Pretty, in a scary way. Of course, as usual, nobody cares. It's not as green here, but you can clearly still see it. It's almost like a lightning storm. The end is nigh. <laughs> Inside buildings, though, the effect looks really weird. I don't think they really got this figured out properly. Here we go, the icon. Second part of instructions. Subjects... Citizens? The first young citizens of Oakmont. Period. After the flood. After the waters rise. Registry... District... Maybe not district, but... Citizen records? Record of triplets. Oh! With disciples three. Laura, Claire, Allison, Whiteley. Don't know when they were born, but they were the first people to be born after the flood. Whoa, this goes into a lot of detail. The mom died in childbirth. Oh, maybe the father is a fish. That's really not entirely out of the question, is it? At the railway station in Western Shells. You can see the rail tracks here. But of course, it's all sunken down now. Is that what this is depicting? The railway? What exactly am I looking for here, though? The place where the triplets were born. They don't even live here anymore, right? Mm. Can I go up? Nope. Let's try to get into the station here, if we can. Oh. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> what should I use? Get the little ones first. Oh, God. The wild beasts, we can just swing at them when they get closer. One more. This is how we know we're in the right place here. Things are coming out.
The monolith should be really noticeable, but right now... It seems like a regular railway to me. Oh, wow, okay. Even more. Should I be using a trap here? Please! Oh! <laughs> They're swinging at me! They're swinging! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! 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 No! No! Keep going! I think I got a little bit too far from the area. But did you see that? My trap worked! Oh! Who oh, nearly stepped in that one again? I think the trap basically only deals a teeny little bit of damage. They can only kill something if the thing is already close to dying. Ugh. Okay. Time to make some stuff here. Running out of bullets. Here we go. Thank you. We gotta remember that the battle rifle doesn't need any gunpowder. So even if it seems like we can't make any ammo, maybe we can make some for the battle rifle. Reload a little bit. I should probably have a full amount of first aid kits. Uh-huh. Can't make any grenades though, as usual. Dang. Probably shouldn't have wasted the one I had. Whoa! Even this monstrosity couldn't survive being riddled with harpoons. On the other side. There is a monolith. Good. Okay, well, we're definitely in the right place here. Oh, of course you would give this to me, right after I made one myself. Dang it. Rags! Ooh, I got rags! I can make a grenade. Cool. Is there a way for us to get out of here? Yes. <laughs> Dang it, I wasted my supplies earlier. A lot of dead people. How come this thing didn't turn to ashes, like when I usually kill them? The monster took a good bite out of this poor man. His own mother wouldn't recognize him now. Ugh. Definitely handmade. Looks like a piece of the monolith. Does that mean that this person might be one of the triplets? Hmm. Chipping off such a huge piece would require a lot of effort. You couldn't do this alone. True. But these people had pickaxes and stuff. They weren't alone. Hurry! I think I heard something. <gasps> Did they just steal a gigantic piece of a rock? Wow. Harder! We must have this piece of the stone. It's blessed. Not too surprising, I think. Overall, Oakmont seems really superstitious, so they definitely believe in this kind of thing. I wonder if that's a police officer, though, judging by their hat. The wild beasts smell us! Protect the stone! Time to figure this out. They're leaving with a rock here already. So they try to get the rock. Carter, we must have this piece of the stone. Put it into Hurry. the cart. I think I heard something. And now the they're leaving. Smell us. Protect the stone! A group of fanatics chipped off a piece of the monolith and got away with it. Apparently, it was the one with the niche I need. So we need to find them. 
Even though we have this gigantic piece of rock here, we have to have that specific portion. Gosh dang it. A piece of the monolith was stolen. How would I know how to find them? They used a cart to transport the heavy stone, so they must have left tracks somewhere. Oh, okay, I think they actually meant for me to come through here to begin with, and then I was supposed to find my way over here? Oh. Tracks? Oh, and that's why this guy, there's like dead people here and stuff. Killed with one blow. That's one of the monsters, though. Not a person. I wouldn't want to be him. Definitely handmade. Looks like a piece of the monolith. All soaked in blood. I hope it's still readable. Stained diary page. Excited to be the secretary of our community. The history of our ascension will be written with my own hand. Two days ago, found the blessed piece of stone. It's so close. The hour of our ascension draws near. New headquarters in Western Shells, on Justice Street between the Inner Shine Street and Warren Road. Closer to the stone, so it'll be easier to transport. The wheelbarrow is here, but the stone... There's still some bits here. The wood's rotten from the damp. Okay, well, we do have the address, but I wonder if there's more evidence to be found here? The same pattern as on the monolith. Kind of shiny. The chip looks fresh. And that was the last bit. Back here. I suppose I can see why they think it's lucky. Although, in actuality, it's brought so much misfortune to everybody here. Now, the headquarters of these people... ...is actually pretty nearby. Justice Street, between Inner Shine Street and Warren Road. It's within walking distance. And it's also in the water. Was that not the wheelbarrow they were using? Did they have a different one? Everybody just seems to have abandoned this guy here, and that's that. How do you all feel about the sky right now? The apocalypse really feels like it's here. But yet, everyone just continues on their day. And maybe you can read it as being part of the hypnosis too. People just don't really care. Am I in the right place? Stone Worshippers Residence. Um. This statue is incredibly detailed. It's practically lifelike. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope they didn't smash the part I need. <laughs> These people. I'm pretty sure they were people. Damn. They actually try to chew that. <gasps> oh my god. Teeth. But look at the poses of these statues. They look like they were doing something, so it doesn't seem like somebody sculpted this. Somehow they turned into statues while they were walking around here. Probably because they touched the monolith in some weird way. Don't go there. Just in case. There you are. <gasps> Look at all the worshippers. <sighs> the door won't budge. What? Aha! Oh, that is not the right way. <laughs> How would I get over then? I can see you. But there's nothing I can do about this? Hey. 
put it here. At last, our ascendance is so close. We'll start immediately. We are honored to be the first to ascend. May this case gift free us from our bodily weaknesses and sins. They're ascending by eating the rock. Others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no one can interrupt. Let me take the key. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Put it here. We are honored to be the first to ascend. Others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no one can interrupt. Let me take the key. The piece of the monolith was brought here, partly eaten, and the leftovers were taken upstairs. The door was locked and the key hidden among the books. Fate of the monolith shard. They're not really even eating it though, because their teeth are falling off and stuff. They're just swallowing it, if that's even really happening. The key hidden among the books. Oh. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, people ought to get me already. It seems like these people weren't really expecting it, though. The ones not praying to the rock currently. Hold on. Oh. I can't... Only from this side? I can't help myself. It's so delicious! Oh my gosh. What kind of cult is this? Who? Who are we dealing with here? This doesn't even seem like it's the EOD. Oh my god. I gotta make some of this stuff. Well, there's the rock. Is the piece I need still here? All of you. Oh, they normally can't even see the cave finger part, so there wasn't really a chance that they broke it. This must be part of the seal. Dude, we got it. Two out of three. Wait, two out of three? Isn't it three out of three already? Yes, complete seal of Katiganar. Now I can open the central monolith and descend into Katiganar. Oh, people, we're doing it. We're doing it. All we gotta do is go back to central advent. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we're still missing something here. Oh. Oh, wow. An entire room here. Completely escaped me. Stone Worshipper's Notes The true purpose of the monoliths is to lead the faithful to ascension, to the new life in the changing world. Eat from them, embrace them in all your flesh, and Kay's gift will free you from bodily weaknesses and sins. We will join the 144,000 chosen and will rest among angels, while the sinners will face the wrath of the beast that sleeps in the depths. Oh, and that was the last little piece here. Guess we're ready to go back. Whoa! What? Don't touch it! The stone is ours! Oh, they're not talking to me, are they? Because I took a piece off the rock just now. Uh, maybe it's best if I get out of here now. I'm getting more insane just by staying in this place. Look at my meter. Oh, everyone that was on this floor earlier is gone. They all went to the stairs. Okay, I'll just take it as a sign that the end of the world is here.
You're making it seem like I've never been here before. Oh, the place got refreshed. Now we're back at a different cult. There's so many different little religions in Oakmond. We have the fire people, we have the stone people, we have the EOD. But the lady is still gone. Look at how many supplies they gave me just now. That was not a good sign. Do you think we'll have a final battle? Not if we willingly choose to sacrifice the world, right? <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do. Oh, okay. Already? Oh, oh, oh! It's a giant one. No worries, I know how to get you. Doors. Your secret weakness. <laughs> Are there more? Sounds really disgusting here. Okay. Hmm, I don't have very much gunpowder. That's a little bit worrying too. First aid kit? No, I can't do any more. No. Why does it sound so fishy here? Creeping me out. Are we ready? And back under we go. But this time, it should be for the last time, right? Because now we gotta make a decision here. Do we want to restart the cycle or put a stop to it? What? Oh my god, there's houses! <gasps> okay, we gotta look at which way we're going because I don't want some random squid killing me again. <laughs> look at this though. I don't think we've ever seen buildings down here, right? Maybe this is like the last iteration of Oakmont or something. My god. That's a thought. <sighs> or maybe it's just parts of the current Oakmont that's sunken. But now we're really getting to see it. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's part of Oakmont. That seems more like an ancient civilization. It's weird because it almost feels like you could walk to that. Can you? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was really close. I thought I heard something. Ooh. Pretty sure that thing was like one centimeter from killing me. <laughs> what? Am I just going nuts now? Ugh. Seeing things in my peripheral. Whoa! Should I jump down? Just so we're all aware, I can't take any antipsychotics when I'm in the water here. Oh, I should probably stop looking at that then. Bones. Oh! Oh 
Oh god! Wait, what? Oh no! This is the this is our cabin from the beginning. <gasps> How the heck did we end up back here? My camera. Oh. Oh. Wow. Monoliths are parts of Katiganar. The monoliths are small visible parts of the prison Katiganar and have some mysterious function. Nope. Monolith worshippers have changed into new creatures. They're not human anymore, but still live. They're like weeping angels now. The cycle will repeat. The daughter, piece of the monolith, was stolen. Mm. No? <laughs> transformed by the monolith. Something in the monolith has transformed the worshippers into completely new creatures. Yeah? Monoliths are parts of the Katiganar. Monoliths touched by the daughter. There is a possibility that the daughter can spread her influence through the monoliths. Possibility? Or inevitability. Is the daughter a Cathonan monstrosity? The daughter's influence will be the strongest inside Katiganar. Whatever transformation awaits may be worse than death. Or, or maybe I'll become a god. The daughter's influence will be the strongest inside Katiganar. With her help, I could gain power beyond belief. Mm, let's go with a monster one for now. We might become one of those people, the stone people, but is that really something I want? Oh, these two I still can't put together. Okay. Hmm, in that case... Oh, can I like... If I say this, can I put something together? If I think I can become God, and restarting the cycle is useless, then... I can enter Katinganar. There's no sense in sacrificing my life, one way or another. Someone will end the cycle, and the hidden daughter will be free. Maybe I'll even become something greater than human. Mm, not gonna lie, that's a pretty attractive option, seeing as how we're all going to hell anyway. But if we say that this is a monstrosity, and we should save mankind by restarting the cycle still, then nothing happens. Really? Are there any other combinations? It feels like maybe we should be doing something here, but... Hmm... Okay... Well, for now, let's stick to what we were gonna say initially. Let's try to restart the cycle and spare mankind for another few centuries, because maybe in those few centuries' times, somebody's gonna figure out a proper solution. I don't know about this... Ascending to become a new creature? Do you want me to just jump down? I'm not even wearing a diving suit anymore, my god. Okay. <gasps> my room. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. Sorry, Billy. The Yellow Kings. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. <laughs> Few ever succeed. The Carpenters. I want... None of this to be real. To wake up in my bed in Boston, eat real food, drink good coffee, and forget it all. I would kill for that right about now. We're shaking a little bit. Is it because we're inside the ship? But even the ship isn't real. Oh, wow. 
Let me be frank. You ain't welcome. You slip up. Don't cross a T or dot an I. And I'll treat you like every other criminal in here, newcomer. I'm reliving all my choices. Please help me die. I can't. I... I just can't. Help you die? When was this? Oh. Oh, look. The EOD knives are glowing. Oh. No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. His mother's? The EOD killing people with their fish. And the KKK killing the EOD. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. Holding that skull, just like Gondor Odim. Hurry, Reed. We can still save this city. Can we? You can't end the suffering. The cycle will go on. You can't change who you are. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. We're doomed to rot in this bog. Oh. There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. The daughter. Oh, Jesus, that's me. That's me. And now what choice am I gonna make? Previous seeds died when they entered Katiganar. Now we didn't say that we were gonna in the chart here, but we're still doing it anyway. Restarting the cycle is suicide. The previous seeds died and the cycle kept repeating. The seed sacrifice must be the only way to restart it. Mmm. If we think the Cthulhu stuff is a monstrosity, and we want to save mankind, but restarting the cycle is suicide, then we sacrifice ourselves to save mankind for a few centuries. If I enter the gates, I'll free the dreamer's hidden daughter. If I survive that, what's left of me won't even be human. The only way to prevent mankind's destruction is to restart the cycle by my suicide. Oh, a sacrifice indeed. Are we willing to do that? If it means humanity can be saved for a little bit, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Destiny waits for no man, Charles. Decide now whether this ends in salvation or blood. Ever note. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's multiple tears. This one would probably be freeing the thing, right? 
I choose annihilation. The end of all cycles. Let everything die. Oh, but do I? Oh. Or? I have made my choice. I willingly sacrifice myself like every seed before me. What is one life worth against all of humankind? Is it considered a selfish thing? If we go, screw it, I'm gonna become a godlike creature and forget about humanity. Let the cycle restart. Probably, right? Mm. So if I want to choose this option, then I do these steps here. Can I walk out for a second? We have two options here. Or... Oh! Is there something a little bit more? This is different. I will not choose. I'll break the cycle and free all of us trapped in Oakmont. This sounds appealing. Because yeah, even if we choose to restart the cycle, somebody else years down the line, they'll have to figure out a new solution. It's not permanent. Enough is enough. I'm leaving this damn city and its madness behind. Wait, does that mean you're just giving up though? That's also kind of... Aww. So we have three different choices here. This one sounds like it's just leaving and forgetting about it. But Charles does say, I want to save all the people trapped in Oakmond. The one in the center here, praying to the daughter, is breaking the seal and letting her loose. The one all the way over there is saying, I will sacrifice myself to plug up the seal so that she can't break out. Hmm. Initially, I did say I want to choose a restart cycle one, but why don't we give this one a try? This one's a little bit unexpected. I will not choose. I'll break the cycle, and free all of us trapped in Oakmont. Enough is enough. I'm leaving this damn city and its madness behind. And that is what I've chosen. A way out. I found the hidden control panel. <laughs> I can take a nar. Seems like it could reopen Oakmont to the world, letting people leave. Oh, I could free Oakmont. It seems like the seal could be used to release Katiganar's hold on the city, allowing people to leave. Seems like. Mm, is this just an individual choice here, or... Oh! Okay, restarting the cycle is useless, but the Cthulhu stuff is also monstrous. Combining that with freeing Oakmont, take the seal and escape. If I enter the gates, mankind will be destroyed. If I commit suicide, the cycle will just restart, delaying the inevitable. My only choice is to break the cycle. Maybe I can use Katiganar's control panel to open the city borders and escape with the seal. Will that really work? Hmm, well this is obviously the very middling option here, and if it's middling, does that mean it's right?
What? It worked! I'm back in Boston! Which means I was able to leave Oakmont. But what about Oakmont itself? Oh! really short. Mm, let's check out the other endings first. I have made my choice. I willingly sacrifice myself like every seed before me. What is one life worth against all of humankind? Let the cycle restart. And a sacrifice I shall make. Oh. I also have to jump off here. I died, and now, a few hundred years later, another Chosen One's come, and Johannes is waiting for him. Oh, frick. I choose Annihilation. The end of all cycles. Let everything die. I missed this one earlier. I accept my fate. Unlike the cowards who came before me. My hidden daughter. I am coming. Charles almost sounds brainwashed here. This should be the interesting one, right? We have a possibility of ascending to Godhood. Oh my gosh. The end is here. Stopping the cycle and breaking the seal. Well, I gotta say that all three endings were pretty disappointing because it's just a 30 second cutscene pretty much. Although I guess I should have known based on what we saw in the whole game so far. Hmm. I kind of hope to see a little bit more about the consequences of our actions though because uh, it seems like None of the previous choices we made really matter here, except for this last one. And... I don't know, for example, this last ending here, where we... got absorbed into the daughter, so in the end, did we ever get to become a godlike creature? But I guess with this kind of eldritch horror, you can't really be too specific, because then it stops being scary. Yeah. Well, my opinion of this game didn't really change throughout the past 10 hours. First of all, between like or dislike this game, I would classify this game under like, but at the same time, I also recognize that it has a lot of problems that probably not very many people can overlook completely. 
I think this game has pretty good voice acting. I actually really enjoyed listening to Charles talk. And there were also some really interesting detective mechanics here, where they really tried to steer away from the multiple choice and the guessing, which made you feel like an actual detective. Although I would also argue that some of the detective work got a bit too realistic, like looking up the streets and figuring out where people lived and finding their records. Well, I think the finding records part is actually pretty fun because it's like a mini game in itself, and it really forces you to digest and properly understand the information that you've been given. But things like looking up the streets individually, it was cool the first three times, but then it just got annoying. Because <laughs> what happens if I make a mistake in finding the street? That wouldn't be the game's fault because ultimately it's my fault for not knowing how to read a map. But why would you want to create the situation where that can happen? Because that just leads to frustration. And at the end of the day, we're playing a game. We want to be entertained, we want to have fun. I personally don't feel like it's necessary to allow this kind of situation where you could potentially look up the wrong address and then have to start over again in your investigations to happen. Thankfully, that didn't really happen to me, but if it did, it would add a lot to the backtracking and travel time, which towards the later parts of the series here, you probably have noticed that I started cutting up pretty extensively because it was honestly getting pretty ridiculous. You would see a 1 hour video, but behind that, it would be more like 1 hour 30 minutes of playtime because of all the traveling and the looking up the map and whatnot. And overall, there is a lot to love about this game and I can feel, I can feel that it was made with love. But at the same time, there's a lot of these deal-breaking faults, depending on who you are. If you're like me and you can kind of go through it because you want to see what happens in the story, then it might be okay. But for someone who wants maybe um, high technical polish or better combat, then no, I could not recommend this game to them. And I still stand by what I said before about how this game, the playtime should be cut in half. The development time that would have freed up from that, I think it should be used for polish instead. It felt like it was dragging on a bit, and I think it's partially because after the first 3 or 4 hours of the game, you don't see any more new mechanics or anything that's really too novel. Basically, the game tries to hold your interest purely through the story. And that's really hard for a story to uphold because it's a game. We all come here for some combination of the story and the gameplay. To be fair, I do think the moral dilemma or the ethical choice of each case, they did make me think and a lot of them made me hesitate. Okay, overall, I wouldn't say that this is a horrible game. Far from it. But a lot of things... If they were improved, then that would make this game so much better. I know Frogwares made the previous Sherlock Holmes games, but I've actually never played any of them, so I don't really know how they compare. But if they can improve on what they've done here with The Sinking City, I would be really interested in playing their next game. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that is that. This was The Sinking City with Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you in another place, in another time. Bye!